EJ McConnell has put it in. The Sixers get the basket. Orlando down one. They don't have a timeout. Evan Fournier throws it away. And TJ McConnell has done it again. The Sixers beat the Magic. And TJ- Hi, everybody. Welcome to Live Your Jam's first Jam Story video. Jam Stories are inspirational videos about people who are living their jam. These are people who take their amazing skills and apply them to areas that they're passionate about. That's what Living Your Jam is all about. And we know from research and our own personal experience that when we're living our jam, applying our skills to our passion, we have more meaning in life. And human beings thrive on meaning. So if you're interested, stay with us and go to liveyourjam.com for resources and tools. But today we're going to look at a video, one of many, about people who are living their jam to inspire you to live yours too. So today is important because not only is it our first jam story at Live Your Jam, but it's also a jam story of somebody that I have admired my entire life and inspired me to live my jam. This person has been living his jam for the last 22 years, and he's done it with a lot of perseverance, hard work, and tenacity. Welcome to Live Your Jam video inspirational stories to Tom McGinnis, my brother, who is the voice of the Philadelphia 76ers. Welcome, Tom. Hi, Ellen. Thank you very much. Glad to be a part of this. Okay, Tom, tell us, how do you live your jam? What are your passions and skills, and how did you find them? I'm the radio voice of the Philadelphia 76ers, and as you say, I've done it for 22 years. This will be the start of my 23rd season, and I've always had a passion for basketball. I love the game. I play the game. I've been around the game practically my whole life. And then as a college student, I was a communications journalism major, broadcaster, and I always wanted to be around the NBA and to find a job in the NBA doing exactly what I wanted to do in terms of professional career has been really a a lifelong ambition and a dream come true. One of the things I've admired about you most is that you had an idea about what your jam could be and pursued it from a very, very young age. And for many of us, our jam doesn't come, it's more of a challenge to find it. So you've always inspired me because early on, my watching you as your younger sister, I saw you work so hard for that. So well, I, I've, always, I've always said, you know, that's my greatest gift. It's not my wonderful looks, kidding, or my voice or my knowledge of basketball. My gift is that I knew what I wanted to do. And to your point, so many people, they go through college, sometimes they get even their masters or whatever, and they still don't know exactly what they want to do. So this has been a blessing to uh, find something that I wanted to do. And quite frankly, having grown up in Illinois and our father taking me to Chicago, which was no easy jaunt, it was two hours away to Chicago Bulls games. And this was pre-Michael Jordan. And to be in there and to be around the NBA setting, to see the lights, a light went on for me. And I had a lot of success as a young basketball player and the competition and the drive and all those things that played so well for me as an athlete, I was able to take and notice and find a path of what I wanted to do to be able to find the road to become an NBA announcer. And then getting a job in this league was almost like winning the lottery. And uh, it's something that I hold dear and I never take for granted, even to this day, as I embark on, as I say, my 23rd season. That's outstanding. So Tom, you just shared with us that you you found your jam at a young age and pursued it. And now you've been living your jam for the past 22 years. Do you have any advice for others who are searching for their jam? Well, again, it's to the the beautiful thing is to be able to do something for your professional career that you enjoy. I mean, I'm at our office today and it's never a moment where like, Oh my God, especially the games. Like I never dread having to go to an NBA game. I actually like it. I love it. I can't wait with anticipation for every game because there's so much that goes into it. So if you can find something that you're personally interested in and to be able to parlay that that into a way to make money and provide for yourself, that to me, as you say, where your skill set and your passions intersect, that's the holy grail right there. But, and so sometimes it's, I think, to be open, to be flexible, to be able to find things like, Hey, Oh my, I have a, I have a skill at this and not beat yourself down like, oh, I could never do it. Well, maybe you can, and then to reach out. Everybody is willing to pay it forward and, and 
help people. And I, and I think in, and look for people to give you advice, find mentors. And a mentor might be somebody that you admire that, who knows, you're watching on TV or that you read. It doesn't necessarily have to be somebody that takes you by the hand and walks you through, but you learn from their example. So, uh, you know, and I think it, it helps to narrow things down. It's one thing to be a business major, but to have an idea of what you might do specifically in a particular career field. Outstanding advice. Thanks, Tom. And I have to ask you this one final question. Sixers have two first round draft picks right now on the roster. What's the prediction for the season? Well, I tell you, the, the hopes, we've been through a lot over the last four years. Our team has struggled record-wise. I think anybody that follows professional basketball realizes that we took over a radical changeover. Uh, it's been called the process. And now, our, our, you know, here I am in our offices, our seats for this coming season are sold out for every game which is an incredible thing. We're in the entertainment business and to know that 20,000 people are gonna to come to your 41 events are amazing. We've got a bright, young, talented roster led by Joel Embiid. You mentioned uh, this most recent pick, Markel Fultz, who played one year at Washington, was the number one pick. The Sixers were able to acquire his rights and go out and get him. Ben Simmons missed all of last year, another number one player. And then we've added free agents like J.J. Redick. We have a good core group of young players. And hopefully, now we only won 28 games last year, but we're going to be able to take a huge leap forward. I know Philadelphia is a marketplace. Even the whole basketball landscape, looking to Philadelphia for huge things. And now we have to go out and make it happen. Excellent. Tom, thanks so much for your time and sharing with everybody how you are living your jam. That's it, everybody. This is the first installment of live your jam stories inspirational stories from people who are doing it who are out there living their jam signing off from california and philadelphia respectively ellen and tom mcginnis <laughs>